What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another MLB 24 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. In today's video, we're going to be going over and breaking down the brand new season program which is live right now. You can earn a ton of free diamonds including a free diamond Mike Trout. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the content. So normally, we get this monthly awards program that happens at the end of every month. They're breaking it down a little bit differently this year. I think I like the concept of it, but we're going to go ahead and go through it and talk about all of the free content that you can earn. There are also packs that go along with this program that do cost stubs or money, and that's probably the part I don't like about it, but let's go through it. So go over to programs. You're going to go to other programs, and it says season awards, drop one opening day. So they're going to put these out. Out, I'm assuming every other couple weeks or so and it's going to be content focused on the season that's ongoing right now and some flashback tops now type stuff so let's go through it here if you take a look there are right now in totality 50 stars or 50 XP and completing this entire program the max card you're going to get is a Garrett Crochet 91 overall card we'll take a look at his attributes here K's per 9 95 hits per 9 88 stamina 87 home runs per 9 96 not too bad, not terrible. Velocity and break very good on this one. I mean, if you're no money spent or you're not spending a lot of money like me, this is a good card to go after. Everything in between is just like, eh, at the most part, it's collection fodder. These will all go into the season one collection. If you look at the top left part of the card art, that's what the S1 stands for, for all my newbies out there. I do like that they put a big name in here. So the very first player reward, which is 10 XP or 10 stars, you're going to get an 88 overall Mike Trout. Like it's not the greatest card but I know people who can't afford the regular Mike Trout card, the live series card, to have a Mike Trout in your lineup that seems fairly usable is a good concept. So I'm not too mad at this one. And everything you need to do to earn XP within this program is going to be found like everywhere else down below at the bottom, the season award task. What I would recommend to get started is knocking out the four moments. Each of them give you three XP. So that's going to be a total of 12 once you complete all four of them. I knew that because I'm good at math. Once you get that 12 XP, that's going to get you the free Mike Trout right away. So you can get that card pretty quickly. Very important as you earn these player rewards, these are Tops Now cards. You can't see it on this graphic because that no sell image is kind of blocking it in the upper left. But there is, look at this one here on Colt Keith, down in the bottom left of the card art, it says Tops Now. Again, I know a lot of you already know this, but there are some beginners right now that are playing this game for the first time this year, and I just want to explain it to them. The Tops Now cards, as you earn these, definitely put these in your lineup because there are XP or PXP missions associated with them. So you can see if you earn certain number of PXP, in this case 500, with those cards in your lineup, that's going to give you XP for this program. The Season Award players are going to be found in packs and then also the Garrett Crochet, which you know, when you earn this card, you've already maxed out this reward, so there's really nothing that this card specifically is going to help contribute to this specific mission unless they add on to this one eventually. There are additional ways to earn XP with just any players. You can see now uh, home runs with Tops Now players, hits with Tops Now players, and RBIs with Tops Now players. So again, Mike Trout and all of the other player rewards leading up to the Garrett Crochet. That's why you want to put them into your lineup. There are generic missions too, so uh, total bases with center fielders hits with with short stops home runs with left fielders extra base hits with your dh these are all things that you can do to earn xp within this program and then i talked about this in a prior video i don't remember the exact one but earning pxp with white Sox players is going to earn you more xp in this program and i'm willing to bet i guess we can go ahead and spot check it here let me go over to the market if you have duplicates of any white Sox players right now they're, they're probably going to go up now i'm not talking like you're going to make hundreds and thousands of stubs but because people are going to be uh, fishing for these cards or needing these cards to earn pxp they're probably probably is some small opportunity to flip a bunch of these or sell them if you already have them because this is a mission specifically uh, that people need these player cards for to go out and get XP in that program. The last thing you can do to earn XP in this program is collecting the specific cards and you can see these are cards that are not in this reward path. These are cards that you're going to find in packs and this is the part that I'm not really a big fan of. This is also optional so I would recommend not doing this because you can achieve the 50 
XP with everything above that we just listed without needing to collect any of these cards. And if you don't know what collecting means, that means once you collect a card, you can no longer sell it. And if we go over to the marketplace here or into the pack store, I should say, this is where you're going to find those additional players. So it's drop one, season one rewards, 30,000 stubs. This does guarantee you at least an 89 overall diamond. Basically, you're going to get one card. It's either going to be an 89 or a 92. And the good cards are not free. So you got O'Neill Cruz, 92 overall shortstop here. Pretty good looking attributes, diamond hitting, gold defense. This will be considered, it's not really like a fantasy pack, it doesn't look like, so I'm not going to call it a rare round, but this will be one of the rare cards that you get out of it. Uh, Gary L. Jr. here, the second of 392 overalls, and actually the second of 292 overalls, and then the cards you're more than likely to get when you spend 30,000 stubs on this pack are 89 overall cards. Again, if you happen to pull any of these, you can go ahead and collect them if you want, and you're going to progress through that program quicker, but I would not recommend doing that because these cards will then become unsellable, especially if you do it with the 92 overalls. That would not be smart at all. Other pack content we got today is a Headliners Pack 6. The diamond that's featured in here, 35,000 stubs for this pack only guarantees you a gold card. I would never, ever, ever touch these. You can earn headliners packs in certain programs a lot of times. If you get lucky through those, W, but I would just never spend stubs on these things. They're terrible value every time, but the featured diamond in this pack is going to be a Jim Tomey 93 overall card. First baseman with diamond hitting and only bronze defense. First baseman generally don't need the greatest defensive player in the world, so that's going to be okay. He can hit the ball, hit the ball pretty well with that max power against righties at 125 and then there's a throwback Phillies uniform in the pack as well um, one thing I didn't go over yesterday because I didn't think it was warranted to make an entire video and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already but there is a free April Fool's pack it's available for the next two days and 23 hours it was available yesterday but if you open it up you're actually going to get a diamond a free 85 overall diamond card the main thing about this one again it is boosted up or I think that boost might be over by now it is boosted up until to a 93 but I thought that that boost was supposed to end like today. Yeah, it's got 13 minutes and, and 15 seconds and counting until that boost goes away, but it is yet another one of those Season 1 cards that can go into the Season 1 collection for free to eventually earn you some additional free content. So if you haven't opened this one up, go get it done right now because this pack does go away in 2 days and 23 hours. One other thing to point out with this Drop 1 for the Season Awards program, once you max it out, you get the Garrett Crochet. Notice this is a non sell card so you can't sell it obviously uh, the only things you can really do is let it sit in your inventory or go ahead and use it but you do have the option to collect it as well which in this instance that's okay because those other cards in the packs were sellable once you collect them you can no longer sell them forever this card is already non-sellable so it is okay to collect and if you go over to your collect tab and then to the collection screen under special collections you're going to see season one awards so once you collect this particular card nothing's going to happen but as we get more drops for this program, you're going to get more cards that will go into this Season 1's award collection, and eventually it will turn into a Jelly Bean pack when you get the second player, a Ball in is a Habit pack, and then a Jumbo Show pack. We should still be getting Lightning players, which are like the main featured players at the end of a season program. I don't know if they're going to put them in packs only, like we saw with the O'Neill Cruz, or if there's going to be, you know, maybe one free one at the end of the program, and then one that's in packs only. I'm not sure, but but collecting these cards eventually will lead to some additional content in this Season 1 Awards Exchange. And I think that's it. We do got more content on the way. So on April 5th, which I believe is Friday, more storylines, more legend storylines are going to be added. And then a week from today, in midweek next week, Team Affinity Chapter 2, new ranked Battle Royale and event. So a lot more content coming next week. But now you got this little baby mini program that you can grind through and earn some free content. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.